Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model IKEA furniture as a family in Revit. Now everybody knows about IKEA, I think they're the most well-known furniture company in the world and maybe you like them for their furniture design, for their cheap prices, for their business practices or maybe even for their awful food. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to model some of their families or one of their family in Revit. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay so let's get started, I'm going to be modeling this Oddwald desk leg desk thing in Revit so it, it looks kinda weird but I have one of these desks at home and it looks amazing and I really love it so I thought I might model it. But anyway, I'm going to be going here to the families and choose a new family and I'm just going to be dropping back a folder to use the metric template and I'm going to search for generic model. And when this opens up, I'm just going to go to front elevation, type in RP for reference plane, create one reference plane over here and place it at 700 millimeters like this. Now we can start kind of modeling around. So I'm going to go to create tab, you, you choose an extrusion and zoom in over here and create a small extrusion like so. So I'm going to place this at 20 and this should be at 40 then and this should be at 18. Okay so once I have this let's place two lines over here. These are just going to help me determine some of the angling over here or the angle over here. So I'm just going to place this at oops 200, place this at 200. Okay this I actually got it right accidentally but anyway I'm going to go from here to here and from here to here okay and place one line over here and just make sure that it is at 55 millimeters. Now I can just use split element over here and then just trim and extend to trim everything in place. And once you have this I'm just going to set here for the extrusion end at 350 and the extrusion start at minus 350 so we get 700 total because it's 700 millimeters by 700 millimeters. Then delete these extra lines and just go finish. So we have that so let's go to create extrusion again and I'm just going to be using pick lines over here then create an offset of 20 millimeters use pick lines again now eliminate this offset select this line this line and this line now I'm just going to use split element over here like so and then let's just start trimming and extending so just go like this yeah, that looks about right. And then you just leave it at 350, 350, and, or minus 350 and 350, and you just go finish. Now let's go to the left side, and you get something that looks like this. Now we're going to be creating a void. So just go to create, void forms, void extrusion, and let's just create something that looks like this perhaps, and maybe finish it on this side, offset this by 60 millimeters because that's basically that's the dimension for these legs and go like so and let's just go like that. Now we can select all of this and mirror it around this axis and then just use trim and extend to trim this in place. And now if I go into 3D I get something that looks like this and when you go finish it kinda cuts through everything but I don't want it to cut through this element. So just open up this cut drop menu, choose uncut, select this, select your void and there you go. Okay let's continue on with the elements. So I'm just going to go to left elevation again go create extrusion and let's just place a line and set it to 15 millimeters so 150 like so create a rectangle over here kinda like that maybe place that like so delete this line and then mirror this around this axis and go finish 
go into front elevation and let's just make it a bit smaller like that same thing here and let's just cut it with a void so just go create void forms void extrusion and I'm just going to kind of create a rectangle over here and then select this angle and kind of place it like that mirror everything around this axis go finish go into 3d and again it's cutting through these legs which we don't want so just go uncut geometry select this select these legs and there you go okay one more element which will be this crossbar over here so just go to left elevation go create extrusion or no you can go to front yeah front elevation create extrusion with like a rectangle like this place this at I don't know like 20 this should be at 40 then and then just place it a bit up yeah like that and go to left elevation and lock it in place lock it in place yeah there you go let's just go into 3d now yeah and let's just use join geometry to join everything together I usually like to join everything up and now let's just select the whole thing and go and set the material let's use some wood material so I'm just going to be typing wood and yeah let's choose this one yeah this looks nice go apply OK and let's go into realistic yeah this looks quite good now the one I showed you is black but I really like this natural wood color so I'm going to leave this on okay so now we need to create the desk top or the desk yeah the desktop uh, now let's just go here to file new family family here drop back a folder use English generic family let's just find the generic one da, da, da. okay generic model open it up okay and let's set some parametrics first so just type in RP for reference plane create two reference planes like so and create two smaller ones over here okay so once we have these just go into dimension or di and dimension this lock it in place dimension this or sorry don't lock it in place this should be at 300 yeah this too so exactly 300 and now you can lock it in place same thing here yeah lock it in place and now create one dimension that goes from this side to this side that's the main one that's going to be the parameter and then do like a double one and hit EQ to make everything equal and to make this a parameter just go here to create parameter and let's name this length and just go here and let's edit it to 1600 millimeters okay so this looks all right so let's just go to left elevation and let's create a reference plane to for the top of the table let's set it to 700 okay and let's just go to extrusion and create like a tabletop extrusion and let's just set this at 30 I like my table set 30 millimeters. I don't know. I found that dimension to be perfect for working. And then I'm just going to place this at 400 and this at 400 as well. So the table depth, I usually like to have 80 centimeters because I like to have my computer monitor and then enough space to place maybe a notebook if I want to write something down in front of the computer so 800 millimeters or 80 centimeters is the perfect dimension for that now I'm just going to go to front elevation and just attach this lock it in place attach it here lock it in place okay now go to reference level and now go to your uh, leg family and go load into project and you just kind of place it to the side and once you have done this just go AL for align and align it here lock it in place align it here lock it in place then just copy this go align lock it in place align lock it in place okay let's just go into 3d yeah this looks quite cool 
and I'm just going to change this material to something white so white yeah let's let's choose this material I know this is not the material you would be using for a tabletop but let's just have it white okay so there you go we have our cool little IKEA table modeled in Revit so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day